Simmons agent Rich Paul of Clutch Sports met with Daryl Morey, the Sixers president, and their general manager, Elton Brand, in the last couple of days in Chicago at the Combine and talked about Ben Simmons' future and whether or not it would be or should be in Philadelphia. Now, there was no trade requested, and right now they're planning to keep talking, you know, as we get closer to the draft and August free agency, but Philadelphia remains committed and trying to address some of the issues with Ben Simmons this summer, his free throw shooting, his shooting, they would like to continue to try to find a way to make this partnership work. Committed in addressing the issues and find a way to make this work. Jay, that doesn't sound like they are fully committed in moving forward with Ben Simmons. I think the biggest challenge for the 76ers is that they have to remain realistic about the trade value of Ben. Because the days of you getting James Harden in return for Ben Simmons are over due to the way he's performed in the playoffs. And so if you're looking for depth or flexibility within your roster, then that's something that is feasible in a trade scenario for Ben. But it also is take a temperature on the marketplace and see what kind of feedback. Oh, I still think there will t- be teams in play that will want Ben, but I think you have to do that first. I said, oh, gosh, because I just saw the highlight on ESPN News. He, he, I'll be the last man, but he put up a shot. It didn't come nowhere near the square. Mm-mm. I was like, and that's the first time I saw that one. And you're right, though, Jay. You you look at it. Why would you tr- Why would you devalue an asset that teams could potentially want? for their system and their style of play. So what you say is, right now we're kind of trying to figure out how to fix the problem because we would like to hold on to him if we can. You don't want to all of a sudden uh, go out there on the limb and say, well, we're done with him, we're moving, and we're all looking for trade partners right now because you just never know in the end it may not work out the way you want it to. And what if you are stuck with him? And now, not only from a fan base standpoint, a locker room standpoint, now from an organizational standpoint and a coaching, you have now alienated him even more by putting him out there on the trade block for a second time and then reneging the opportunity for him to go somewhere else. So you got to be very delicate in these situations. I agree with you, but I do think while we were all taken aback by just – how poorly he played down the stretch in terms of big moments in this game. And, Jay, tell me if there's something here. I do think we have to give room for the playoffs, a series, and his overall body of work. We knew that Ben Simmons was not a shooter. I think this level of hesitancy to take shots was revealing, but I do wonder if there's a window of I've now faced this team seven consecutive games in a row and they've got my number, and this is – while it's a symptom of a larger problem – He's still better than what we saw down the stretch in this playoff series. He's certainly a, he's certainly a better player than what we saw Jay in the playoffs. But if they're trying to win a championship, he may not be a piece of the puzzle Let's that see. can help them win that championship. Agreed. This is what see, Monica. Though this is what bothers me about the conversation. I'd be curious to get your opinion on this because it feels like, and I get it. I'm not making any excuses for Ben at all. It's abysmal that he didn't shoot the ball or that sometimes it feels like he becomes passive with that mentality. But like this squad was also up 18 in game five. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're up 26 in game six. So I get frustrated because it's not – Tobias Harris, he got paid a lot of money. He shrunk in fourth quarters. Joel Embiid shrunk in fourth quarters. So as the news becomes it's all about Ben Simmons in all time and what kind of problems does he have – I'm like, that, that. now can you win a championship with Ben Simmons? I'm like, yeah, Doc, you could have won a championship with Ben Simmons. That's how I would have answered could've, the question. Could have this year. Hey, Jay. You, you know could have this year, Doc. Yeah. Like, Jay, but you it's also your job to put players in position to succeed. And I'm not making excuses for Ben Simmons again, but that whole team shrunk. And like, that becomes that. not the narrative, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't think we've asked this question yet because we always take it from the, the team perspective. I know he signed a contract, so it's really not up to him, but we've seen players you know, say, I've had it here. Does Ben Simmons want to stay in Philly? I don't think so. I don't think Ben Simmons rocks with Joel Embiid at all. Would you at rock all. With, Just my personal opinion. Would you rock with somebody that because basically blamed you? But the basketball first. 
The basketball doesn't exactly work well with the two of them first, and then everything else goes from there. But as much as we're talking about the Sixers, Jay, I got this this great stat this morning. The Hawks have been 6-2 and two in clutch time in this postseason. They've got the most mm. clutch time wins. So, yes, there's some issues that Philly needs to address if they want to be real contenders. But to me, you cannot knock the arrival of this Hawks squad. No, the Hawks, they get, they get all the praise in the world. But like Jay said, you up 18, you up 26, you close things out. You would, we may not even be having these type of conversations. Yeah. But – it didn't happen that way. And when you paying a guy a hundred and what is one hundred and forty seven million? One hundred and forty six left over. One hundred and forty six million dollars left over, and he's supposed to be a main piece of your puzzle. And it doesn't. He's not living up to the billing. It's the same thing with Paul George. It's the same when when guys come in and they got all this hype and they got all the stuff. People expect a certain level. And they got a certain expectations, Fair. so they pay you a certain amount of money. Yeah. And when it doesn't happen. People point to that. It's like, well, he's we're paying him all the money. How come he's not so able then, to get us over the top? Well, so then, Key, so then, Jay, this is the first time that this unit got this far, right? Mm -hmm. So now, yep. so is are we are we completely punting? Because in the regular season, they never ben been was to the solid. second. They would never. I think been. right. This is, I think this is the deepest this group has gotten. I think. I, well, think I gotta double, double the, check that. Did they not go to the second before? I don't. I don't. I think this is as deep as they. This is the deepest. They've no, been to the second no, before. They've been. They yeah. They, they, I thought okay. so. Well, yeah, my I thought so. was. Remember, they had that bounce in the second yes. round. That You're right. Kawhi's that was bounce the Raptors that bounce. They would have gone to the. So okay, then maybe that, that scratches my question then because they've been here. They just well, never the, got. My only problem with it, Monica, is like, if if you're my teammate, and we lose a game like that, and I rock with you. I'm not throwing you under the bus at the podium. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But like, that's because I don't rock with well, you, so I'm going to throw well, you under the I'm bus. 